I'm assuming this is going to be a, a good game to play with the controller. I'm doing great, Terra. Today is Final Fantasy XIV patch day. So much going on. So many games. A little mechanical cricket. All right. Master Shifu. <laughs> Yes. No. <laughs> no. Run away. Run away. Not good. How funny. We're so dead. We are so dead. And then the black screen came. For 1,000 years, the black screen came. Two thousand years, the black screen. Okay. Skip. Was there supposed to be another How scene can there? Something as oh. beautiful as this be dying. A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? end is coming to the new world the tribes stand divided in need of someone strong enough to unite them or bring them all down this is a story with an unusual beginning so let's expect an unusual end okay let's do it i guess we didn't miss anything with the black screen there welcome to biomutant why thank you all right let's do a, take a quick look at the settings uh, auto advanced dialogues on. Toggle whether dialogue should advance without player input. Maybe that go off. We'll see. We'll see if that gets annoying. Quest markers on, damage numbers on, enemy indicators? <gasps> Comic book effects, we want that. Compass, rotate with view. Okay. Camera. Camera shake. Nope, don't want that. Yep, the field's okay. Controls, sprint toggle. When off, the button needs to be held down to sprint. No. No, thank you. Okay, audio. All right, I could probably turn down the music a little and the sound effects. And the ambience. Definitely user interface. Speech and gibberish. We'll keep, we, those are important, especially the gibberish. Frequency. Subtitles on. Video. Windowed. Looks all good, right? Max graphics. Do we have... Uh, there's no There's no motion blur, yeah? Oh, here we go. Quick time events auto-complete. You could turn that on if you don't like doing quick time events. That's pretty cool. All right. Music seems way low now. Well, it's we're in the, um, we're just on this screen. It'll be fine. Yeah. Easy, medium, hard. Guess we'll go medium. Little cricket guy.
Encode your DNA. Encode your DNA. Oh boy. Breed? Choose your breed? Vitality, strength, intellect, agility, charisma, and luck. Oh, nice. Genetics. Choose a breed. Primal is nimble, developed, anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of a lesser developed intellect. Intellect is overrated. Oh my god, look at this guy. Dum Dum is the latest developed breed, a hybrid offshoot that, that compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Okay. Rex. Extraordinary developed breed, um, making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. Extremely tough and resilient. <laughs> Look at these guys. Uh, the genius interlinked to the power of key, which amplifies their psionic output. The, <laughs> they're creepy. I love it. The evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where the form and appearance has dominated over function. Wow, I have no idea. Let's see some of the randomizes. Wow. Most of the faces are pretty weird. Was the person that some for 68 <laughs> months and that person happened to be you. It's Martin. Thank you for the 68 months. How you doing? What's going on? Um, okay. Do you get to customize? What are the stat details? Maybe that's, that's a thing. Okay, here we go. Vitality, health, and the energy cost of dodging. The amount of health you have this value increases as you level up, and the higher your vitality attribute is, your health regenerates solely outside of combat and can be replenished with consumables. Armor, uh, how much damage you take from enemy attacks. Strength adds to your melee damage. The higher your strength, the more damage you deal. Yes, intellect. All right, how much key energy you have. How fast your key energy regenerates, as well as the amount of damage you deal with psi powers and mutations. You can change your appearance, okay. Power stat is useful to define the amount of damage you deal with all kinds of psi powers and mutations. Agility, harder walk, crit chance, loot chance. I want to max and loot chance. Oh, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I want to be more physical than intellectual. Surprise, right? Compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. And this guy's tough as nails too, right? Making them extremely tough and resilient. Let's do this guy. You missed character creation? We just started! This is the first screen! Bog the Biomutant. Hey, Ch uh, hey Chad, what's up? These are your, these are your breeds. Um, I'm gonna try this one. To find your character's starting attributes to see more detailed explanations of what effect each attribute has. Okay. Define yeah. your genetic structure. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Genetic code. Oh, they give you a code for what it looks like, too. How funny. All right, so. That is so weird. What a strange character creation. Like, he gets happier the more you go down. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> Some of them look happier than others. Um, <laughs> let's go, let's go kind of in the middle here. Wow, he looks so sad. Choose a genetic resilience. A genetic resilience to radioactivity, to heat, biohazard, or cold. I hope I get to change my face more. Most of them look so sad. Do you get to change your uh, your appearance? Um, 
separate than actually uh, that. You noticed that I was changing the stat numbers, right? Yes, he did. I'm not a complete moron. You could change your appearance without affecting stats later. Ah, okay. But in the beginning, I'm going to look like that. Define All right, let's go back. Because appearance is important. I can't look like a dingleberry. See? Can't look like Roundhead over here. How can we look somewhat cool? <laughs> I want to look somewhat cool here. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, a little, a little, a uh, little bit of a snicker or a sneer on his face. So weird how they tie your stats to your appearance. Choose right. a genetic resilience. All right, let's be resistant to heat. Heat and biohazard. Yes. Choose your first style. My first style. Oh. Oh. This guy's got like a... He's like bleeding tears. Oh, it changes the tail too. Be mindful of the tail. Oh, I like the raccoon tail. Or the striped tail. Where was the guy bleeding tears? This one. Oh, he's got an all white tail. That's not bad. Let's do that. Pick your main color. Oh, my main color too? What? Oh, and you can change the brightness of it too. Oh. Very, very interesting character creator. What's wrong with dingleberries? Or take the approach of not caring what you look like and go pure stats. Yeah, that's not my uh, that's not my thing. Especially because, you know, I also have you guys watching. <laughs> we'll have constant people coming in. Why do you look like that? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Um, I kind of like where we started, I think. Of course, with the red, right? Blue's pretty nice too, though. Interesting how this works. All right, let's do Choose it. Choose your detail color. Oh, I have a detail color too? Oh. Oh. How funny. Ah, oh, see there, now my tail's not black. It's funny. I like I like what it started as. Let's pick do it. Red and white. Oh, now we got to pick a class. Oh. But you can't change stats later except through gear and levels. Yeah. I think what I chose was kind of in the middle-ish. So I'm I'm a, I'm a assuming that that makes everything kind of possible. All right. So a dead eye, tricky, skillful rogue, commando. Trained and operate, uh, operative of elite special for forces. Commandos are used to working in smaller teams. Cyfreak. Cyfreak. Outcasts on the fringe of society using psionic powers and mutations. Sabotage. Cunning skilled explorer. Covertly in both suburbs and wilderness. Sentinel. And the Sentinel. They dedicate themselves to protect the house. Their dedication is for the organization as a whole, including the supreme belief in their dogma. Sabo sent saboteur, Cyphreak. This is Commando. crazy. Dead eye. Dead eye, huh? Commando. Dead eye. So what is this? Perfect reload. Your range weapons are reloaded instantly, and your next magazine is granted plus twenty percent. Commando. Range weapon attacks inflict ten percent more damage. Cyphreak. To shoot a spark ball, press down the input. Okay. It's a spark ball. Saboteur. 
Melee dual wield skill. Equip two different one-handed melee weapons to dual wield them. Your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. Sentinel. Saboteur. Sentinel. Your base armor Saboteur. is Saboteur. Let's be a saboteur. Virginity, hey, what's up? You played the demo at Gamescom 2017. Glad to see they finished it now. I know it took a long time. Yeah. Should we be a saboteur? So command dead eye. Commando. S saboteur. Saboteur. Bog the thief club. They're so all kind of dead eye. <laughs> Which one is not thief like? <laughs> <laughs> There's no like melee class. Commando. Well, that Scythe. one does have a big sword. Saboteur. Sentinel. This guy has a big club. S command. Dead eye. Yeah, I don't know. I'm the correct color for Raphael, so yes, dual size. All right, I Com guess we'll try it. Saboteur. It almost feels like they should start with this question before you, you know, pick your stats. Eh, how bad can it be? Chosen. Let's try it. Good choice. Hey, if we play a little bit and we realize this was wrong, <laughs> we start over. Yeah, Rogue Thief. Hey, Rosa. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice, a reflection of your key the primal energy that flows through everything. I'm dark red, as in strength and power. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. I'm not sure dark is for me. Should we explore the other choice? I'm one with the darkness. Come below you'd choose that thing over me. <laughs> but I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. Okay. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you we're two halves of the same, with the difference being I'm the better half. Better half? My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself. And it seems we're headed in the right direction. All right, we got the bad idea. Uh, oh. <laughs> he smacked her with a shovel. <laughs> Were there visual options like adjust FOV? Uh, let's see. We, we did look at the options. I don't know if I saw an FOV. Uh, HUD scaling. Cameras. Yeah, field of view. And I probably want to bump it up a little, honestly. There is. There we go. Guess left can be right sometimes. Left is always right. Because only left-handed people are in their right mind. The hell is that? Stories of death and the bodies left behind. Aww. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. That looks like a fluffy little zebra friend. Man eaters meat. New quest. Oh, okay. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Did he just eat the zebra? 
<laughs> what are you looking at me for? Oh, roll. Okay, they're teaching me rolls. There he is. Feathers, flight. Monkey wheel. Click, click, click. Okay, that hurt. Jump and shoot. Okay, I have melee attacks. That's what I'm talking about. Harry. Viper bite B and then X. Wow, they're, they're throwing a lot at me here. Okay. I don't think I did it right. B and then X. Oh, wrong buttons. There we go. Rabbit's Fury! PlayStation controller is messing me up when I switch back to Xbox. Oh my god. I am very tiny. You better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this oh, okay. story. <laughs> I backed into it. All right, this is the cutscene that we watched at the beginning. Yeah. Oh man, Terra Dark. I don't know if there's enemy health bars. We'll see. Ooh. Bio mutant. Thank you for lunch. You're welcome. Anybody want a strawberry? This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Escape the explosion. Good. All right, so I seem to be able to equip Brass Knuckles. While in the gear menu, you can navigate to your preferred melee weapon and assign it to the quick select menu by making it your favorite. You can make up to eight melee rep weapons favorites. Eight? Clencher Stabby. Okay, I got Clencher Stabbies. Oh, put them both on, please. Yes, please. Look at his face. Look at that face. Face only a mother can love. Not you, sorry. She walked in at the exact wrong moment there. You knew I wasn't talking about you? Sure. How? You my days, you tell me every day. Uh. All right, let's go. I have to the bank. To the bank? Yeah. All right, have fun. Uh, anything you need while I'm out of the house? Nope. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, Ooh. and the tree of life started to die. See, why can't be one of those? They're like otters. Mucky, muckly gnats. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with range attacks. To reload your ranged weapon, press RB. Key energy is used for dodging using mutations and performing special attacks. When you're out of key energy, you'll be able to perform these actions. You'll be unable to perform these actions. Your key energy regenerates both in and out of combat. Maybe I turn the sound effects down too much? Flash the slash. Flash the slash. Slopsher slasher. You want some? Wow. <laughs> I feel I'm feeling very first level. <laughs> I feel very first level against these things. You can turn those those uh, Batman effects off too. 
There's an option for that. Deadly. Any more? Whoa. Okay. Loot? Is there loot for these things? How about the poop? Can we climb on poop? We can climb on poop. Okay. All right, let's look at a couple things. Um, system. Settings. Now that we know some things, let's turn the comic book effects off. Um, audio. Oh, I didn't actually turn that down too, too much. And we can save. New slot. Yes. Yeah. You don't like the comic book effects? I don't know. Was that a, was that annoying, you guys? It seemed to be like right in the middle of the combat. What is this? If you guys want me to turn back on, I have no problem with that. It wasn't annoying me that much. Yeah. All right, so we gotta go up here. It didn't bother you guys? All right, look, look, I'll try it again. I'll try to learn to love it. It's our playthrough, not just my playthrough. Let's do it. You just threw a whole lot out me, game. Weapon add-on. You found a weapon special effect add-on. Add it to... Attach it to your ranged weapon to give you extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have a resistance or weakness to certain... Okay, yeah. Okay, electric module. Equip it. To attach the special effect add-on, select it through the consumable quick menu to open the menu hold. I think I already equipped it. Yeah. Medic supply. You found a medic supply. Bags like this contain items that can help you heal. Ooh. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You always have to use consumables to find other ways to heal. All right, give me that. Thanks. Thanks for the gauze. You can use the bandage by holding the quick select menu and selecting it. Alright, there it is. I don't want to right now. Yeah. Alright, so we can go this way or climb the chain. They want me to climb the chain, so we go this way. The first hour or two is a ton of info being thrown at you. You'll have plenty of time to work through it once you get to, out of the tutorial phase. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, that's awesome. This is a huge open world RPG. There are going to be a lot of mechanics and systems. Oh my god, toilet loot. See, it was smart to use the John. You gotta go, you gotta go. A climb stringer. How unusual. Is that the narrator from the Trine games? Sounds like the narrator from Trine. I wonder how that big sword guy would play. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Remember to parry enemy attacks. When the enemy attacks, you'll see a lightning bolts flash above their heads. Press LB. Okay, I, mean, I was watching the wrong guy. Oh, I was really watching the wrong guy. 
Okay. How about we take turns? Okay. Okay. Whoa! Oh, he squished me. All right, my electricity is already gone. Finish them off. Finish him. Did he just fall down the hole? He did! That was amazing! Looting! It's not the trying voice actor. Interesting. Okay. It's not the same uh, It's not the same narrator. Alright, thanks, Joe and Morgan. Just sounds like him. Yeah. Fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy and press Y. Remember to use your healing items when you're wounded. Yeah. Almost too easy. Dandy candy. Okay. And did this guy fall all the way down? Do I have, do I have to go down to loot him? Oh, wow. How funny is that? His loot was down there. Can you try turning depth of field off? The graphics are so good, but I think it makes things look blurry. I could try. I prefer depth of field being on a lot of the time. So I might overrule you. Hope you don't mind. Um, does that do anything? I have no idea. You notice that? Isn't it forced on? I heard it wasn't optional. I just turned it off. All right, so we can go over there. Explore the sludge ruin. Oh, look at us. We got all terrible in there. Okay. Probably should dodge that. What do you got? Oh, I went through his legs. That was great. His name is Rockaboom? Okay, that was bad. I don't know how I'm still alive. Drag them up. <laughs> All right, what do we get? Energy pack small. Energy regen 10. Okay. Take that. Sweet meat! Why is it green and purple? It's the Ottoman Empire colors. There you go. rock boom just rock boomed you into the ground. He did. He did. Yeah. Uh, Chad says some people play this, uh, say this game isn't uh, great in reviews considering you get to play as Rocket Raccoon, Raccoon. I'm definitely reconsidering. Look at the tweets the devs actually posted this morning. It was very, and I, and I talk about game reviews all, pretty frequently. Um, game reviews are the opinion of one person that's working for some publication. Everybody thinks things are different. So don't go by reviews. But the, the devs tweeted something very interesting. They literally took two reviews that were put out yesterday or today and they they had two quotes and they they quoted the sources too they said the exact opposite thing one was like 
extremely awesome world exploration, but the combat is a little mad. And the other one said, amazing combat, but the world building was mad. And like, they, they literally just tweeted both. They said, make your decision for yourself. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Uh, I have no, I have no, uh, opinion of it yet. I, we just, we just started. We're still in the tutorial. It would be, uh, it would not be great to judge a game before really getting into it, you know? The only piece of feedback I have so far is some of the attacks and things that you do in combat, there's, uh, like, The feedback that you get as it, like, it doesn't necessarily feel like I'm hitting with the, the gunshots when I actually am. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah, Nair Bear, it's not always the case that the reviewer enjoys the type of game they're reviewing. That's true. That's true. One of the one I got um I got assigned a uh, a game to uh, review long, long time ago. We're talking like ten years ago. It was called uh, Crimecraft, I think. And uh, yeah, it was all about like beating up people on the street <laughs> in like urban environment, which you guys know not 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 necessarily my cup of tea. <laughs> is there character customization in this? Yes. If you want to rewind my stream, you do go through a character creator. It's a very unique character creator, too. Yeah. Shielder. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can deal damage to them. Okay. Defeat the iron wall. Oh, here he is. Hey. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't do that. He's got a car door. I love it. All right, now he has no shield. Reload, please. Where are you going? Backstab. Dandy candy, take all. Oh, hi. I just like the fact that there's so many different options for the character creator. Like, what if we were more of a magic class? Or what if we use the character with that big sword? You know, how would they play differently? Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You also get one point which you can unlock skills in the Wung Fu in perks menu. Level two. There we go. Energy pack medium. Tongue tickly. I like the items, gang. Tongue ticklies. All right, do they hide loot for you in the corners? I wonder. You play with the big sword? That was the first character? When you level up, okay. Choose something by 10. Um, yeah, my stats are pretty... Pretty even, honestly. We chose pretty uh, average in all stats. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um... Let's go with you agility. Well. All right, you'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. You can use uh, these to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. Range or melee. There are two pillars of Wang Fu. The core martial arts you start with and the weapon mastery techniques that you unlock with upgrading points from leveling up. Uh, let's do close combat. One-handed slash dual wield melee. Okay. So right now... Oh, do we get any of these? So what are these? Uh, oh no, these are these are the ones we already have. Okay. Single attack. We got B and X. Yep, which I've been using. A and X. Yes, and then X, 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 X. Okay, so we can get Unstoppable Pig. Finish a dual-wielded melee chain with a flurry of stabs. This is a special attack. Hitting an enemy with it will fill up one super Wung Fu icon. X, X, Y. Are you sure you want to learn this? Yes. Sure. You can now perform your special attack when you have the correct weapon type equipped. Once you unlock more attacks, you'll be able to combine them to reach the Super Wung Fu state. Okay. Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and special attacks. Okay. Wung Fu perks. Oh, we could have done this stuff, too. 10% loot chance I missed out on? What? Your chance to persuade and dialogue is increased by a point? Your biological mounts have 5% increased move speed? What? Did, what? They have mounts? Mounts? I know, re-roll. Yeah, bio what's a biological mount? As opposed to like a mechanical mount? And then you have your aura, I am somewhat dark. A somewhat dark aura means a lack of capacity for moral, morally right or wrong behavior. <laughs> there seems to be a lot to this. Gear, circle icon represents a part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors. You can sort your gear according to different stats. You can scrap the highlighted piece of gear for crafting resources. There's crafting, too. Where's my inventory? Okay, all I have is consumables. Outfits? This is outfits where you can create and save different gear setups. Automaton. The automaton has accompanied you since you were a ki uh, kitling. Its old world tech makes it a potent communication device, but these scraptronics also have advanced features. Flashlight. Health and jet gliders. Tur wow. Wow. I definitely look more intimidating with clothes. I think that goes for most of us. <laughs> Do you think I look more intimidating with or without clothes? Look. With or without? <laughs> I thought you were asking IRL and it was, I didn't know I Yeah, no, I look a lot tougher with the clothes. <laughs> oh, wow. I am like, I'm blown away by everything we've just saw uh, not the naked character but you know what i mean we do have a little we have a little flashlight cricket what what do you need An yeah, envelope they're behind me oh. i keep them here need one one sir one envelope coming right up i'm wondering though guys if i should go back and get the big 
big sword character. Start over. Thank you. <laughs> you don't like your little gun? Oh, I have these. I'm a dual wielder. Oh. Okay. You're on your way to performing a special attack. Possible special attacks are prompted in the lower right hand corner. Yes. Okay. So the unstoppable pig looks like this. Yeah. Do it. You think I should re-roll? Is there any way that you can like test out the like wh why why do you want to re-roll? Because the guy had a big sword. Oh, is that is that why? <laughs> yeah, like the classes. I wanted more of a melee class, so I chose this one because it dual wielded. The other one like focused uh, on the the gun. Yeah. You think you just change weapons later? All right, we'll I keep going. Say, Let's keep going. Yeah, like, can you just like? Yeah, we'll keep take going. A weapon? Let's keep going. Ah. Examine the door. They wanted me to go that way, so I go this way. Are you gonna be able to like with your character stats? Are you gonna be able to do? Like a big weapon? Like I that? have no idea. I'm gonna say, I don't know if you. I don't know. Other than that one perk, there's no reason to reroll. No worries. Got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got it. Who said that? Southpaw. Southpaw, you're the MVP. You're the MVP. Alaska got screwed out of a scare. You got screwed. Thank you so much for the bits. We did a sponsor segment earlier today, Alaska, and tomorrow's gonna be the same. So no scares until Thursday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, and if I swap it back and forth, I'll forget tomorrow morning for the sponsored segment, and that'll be hell. So, thank you though for the bits. Reiko, you're in Anchorage. Look at that. Multiple Alaskans. So what, what was the other, there was another game that we played where, um, oh, you know what it is? Remnant from the Ashes. Remnant from the Ashes, you choose a class when you play and it you starts you off with one like passive ability, but other than that, you can swap everything else about your character around. So if you didn't like it. So it sounds like that opening choice doesn't let necessarily lock you in like this. Um, so we'll try it. Yeah. You said that three times. Rabbit, I have a filter on my chat that only displays one third of your messages to me. So that's why, yeah. I set that up. Or it could just be I missed it. I'm sorry, yeah. I don't, I don't, sometimes I can't read every single message. I apologize, yeah. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. Pick up the claw bar. Ooh. It's a tool. I was like, new weapon. And they're like, nope. Height looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. The claw. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's enter the pipe. Whoa. <laughs> it's time to that find was, a way out of this place. That was no, unceremonious. Really, mean it. Oh, 
For morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Can we just talk about this? Reloading takes forever. Unstoppable pig! Unstoppable pig! So I do like the comic thing that when it tells you that you just did your move that you were trying to do. That'll teach you. Like there, it tells me I just did Unstoppable Big. Which is just the weirdest ability. Bio blobs. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points that are used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers in various places in the world. Mork. You can use bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time. Okay, I choose this time. Sure, useful. I'm the chain. I'm not ready for the chain yet. Give me, give me loots. No. No, no loots. No. No loots. Next, we have to beat Mindy. Yeah, Mork and Morks and Mindy's. Uh. Go to the mutations tab. There are two types of mutations, biogenetics and psi powers. Both are special abilities, but unlock using different currencies. Okay, so this is bio points, and these are psi points. And upgrade resistance. Those take bio points, too. Moth mouth. Vile bile. Fungi. I can't afford fungi. Spew toxic slush. Press the input you have bound. This will infect any small humanoid enemy hit while infected enemies will attack their allies instead of you. All right, let's get moth mouth. Wonder what oddness you could get up to now. All right, to use Moth Mouth, press the input you have bound the ability to while facing an enemy. This will affect, affect, infect any small humanoid. All right, let's do... Y. Left trigger. And Y. All right, and I can't use side points. Shut your Moth Mouth. I know, right? Oh, it reacted. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me more. Let's climb up. Okay. It's like an old classroom. Toxin all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Toxinals? So they basically left the planet. And left all these poor creatures behind. Rotation puzzle. Oh no, there's puzzles too. This game really has everything. 
You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while others uh, feature different rewards. To switch which node is selected, use <laughs> To rotate the node, press <laughs> This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. How funny that your stats inflict in in influence the puzzles. Each node has a certain position. It must be rotated to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before that may have consequences. Okay. I feel like I need more information. Mm-hmm. Rotate each of the nodes so the colors match each other. Okay. All right. I'm a genius! There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinor Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big Who would mistake. do such a thing to they their planet? They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. I know. What was that one game similar to this, but XCOM-like? Uh, Mutant Year Zero. Mutant Year Zero. And apologies again about that scare, Alaska. I feel bad. But tomorrow will be the same. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Let's touch it. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. I like these puzzles. I feel all smart and stuff. <laughs> 